is hot tied. This is a for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by his tag team partner, Mark Angel, no, weighing man. at 198 pounds. Like we haven't seen enough of Katie up to this point. Pennsylvania, he's a member of the Team New Era JVT. Yeah, the JVT team. C. Wessler. Oh, good. JC Wessler. Uh, JC Wessler's headed out here. You know, here's a guy that went through all of his hardships, that went through all of his struggles here, and he, he just he latches on to something like CNE. I, I just don't understand. JC Wessler saw. They have these two brainwashed, that's the problem. They better find Lou Love what they better do. In single competition against one half of the world tag team champion. I'm not gonna deny that the young man doesn't have a boatload of talent. As both him and he, I mean you can tell by the shape that Mark Angel's in. I've been in the ring with JC Wessler and you know, even then, I was telling that kid, I'm trying to break it each other's back. City with CCW on the other side. Well, you know, I work for a company called Grand Wrestling Alliance, and you know, these guys, those guys are one of the ones we always kept an eye on. Those guys were on top of the game then. Tag team all over the world, towards Japan. Yeah, and you know, you can't deny here for a split second. Now, wait a minute. Think about the booking here and the matchmaking and how this makes any sense. Why would he split up the World Tag Team Champions and put them in singles competition? They won it. They won their hands on TNE. They got their hands on TNE. Yeah, but we're going to see what happens in this match here. J.C. Wessler, Eddie Valentine, this is a tremendous match. Oh, look at that. Duck on the go-behind. Rolls him up right away. How do you like that? Well, they call Eddie fast Eddie Valentine, but man, don't doubt for a split-second moment in time. I mean, did you see how fast that was? Hey, coming up later, don't try going anywhere. You know who our special guest commentator is going to be? Who's going to play heavyweight championship match? Who's that? The guy that's in the main event for this very same show. Real Tim? No. Hybrid. Oh, be my guest. I got plenty of questions I gotta have an answered by this. Oh, uh, I don't want anything to do with that blood spitting freak. Hey, you saw that roll up there. He's the only one up with a two count. Hey, two count. Hey, this message is so much in WPW you get to from top yeah. to bottom. I'm call I'm 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 noticing some little suspect about Marco Polo's coming tonight. I wanted some suspect. Let's talk about that. Blue Love was missing. <laughs> Frog. Hit! The center of the ring. Valentine now waits on the flag. Put the right over. Valentine now with a flag. Get a few. Right in the center of the ring. I don't think Wessler's going to give it up just yet. Mark Angel's going. I wish Angel would get off the ring apron here. Marco Polo a little bit uh, preoccupied with him. Look at his Wessler now. That's Eddie Valentine up into the corner. I doubt he'll give him a clean break. Oh, come on. That was a forearm that rocked. It. Ooh. Now you heard Perf that. Perfectly legal. That was mean. High vertical suplex, perhaps. Oh, wow. Only ones with a two count after he grabbed behind the leg. I'm noticing the intensity and the fire in this kid. I'm noticing the 
and he's got a shin bone right in the throat of the best Eddie Valentine. Telling the fans not to. You know, if these two had been doing their job, Lou Love wouldn't have been alone. He wouldn't have been abducted, abducted by him. Well, for this moment, we still don't have a culprit. Nobody's been named. But J.C. I would not be away. surprised if Rick Sonberg and Hybrid are in school. Look at that. Guy has the referee, Marco Polo, with his back turned. And there's Mark Angel with a cheap shot out there. Look at him it away here on the middle row. Marco Polo. Please pay attention. If the referee was doing oh, his job, he'd have his eye on the whole ring. <laughs> the referee's doing his job. I tell him, don't choke him on the middle rope to begin with. Wrestlers all over the case of all these fans. Better pay. Ooh. What Big shot. Big that was shot. Nasty. Valentine, though, catches himself on the ring apron. Wrestler better turn around. From the outside. Valentine now. Look at that up and over. Got an impressive. Oh, yeah. drop kick. Oh, drop kick. Oh, On the center. beam. Oh. On the beam. Lionel Press made by Sonic. Oh, was the long two count in the center of the ring. Marco Polo only reached two there. Yeah, I bet you second guessing all that stuff he was doing earlier. Now, aren't you? Aren't you, Valentine? Listen to him, he's just jaw jacking out here as a match. There's a match going on inside the ring, Mark Andrew. You might want to pay attention. Look at those stiff kicks. You can hear them from a mile away. Then you have to be here live to appreciate these athletes in action. We appreciate you buying the DVDs, but your TV cannot do this. And no matter where you are, if you cannot make it live, long two count. I mean, we have various forms of communication. Email us. Add us on Facebook. WPW Wrestling at Twitter. We can find all the updates on all your favorite wrestlers, including where all the WPW action is going to be. They're all over the place. Leading up through the summer, there's a straight overhand right. And look at Eddie Valentine. The ropes are barely holding him up. Open a reversal there off the Irish whip. Valentine went low. Westward went high. Westward now the inside. Oh, and only was it with the two count. Valentine's feet were up in the ropes. Yeah, he only reached Sad, one count. Sadly, that's one of those mistakes young people make. You have to know where you are in the ring at all times. That's another thing about being live here, too. The entire live here. Reminiscent of a young Jim Togo. Very, very well done by Jason Lester. I like the reference. Great Bond's leg and only wants him a long two count here. Mark is a pull up the Marco Polo. Look at the intensity on the face of J.C. Wessler. First time I saw these two, they were at an independent show in New Jersey. They were tearing it down then. Talking about J.C. Wessler and Mark Anderson. I don't know what they're capable of. I just don't I just don't like the rule breaking tactics here as he fires in another. Look at this, another four. Night bench chop though. Five in the chest. And man, you saw Valentine move on that one. Another knife edge shot, Alan, coming back. And down goes J.C. Wessler. Angel now trying to get behind his man. Mark Angel pounding away at the ring apron. He's been doing nothing but jaw jack with the fans out here, Ron Star. Mark Angel is doing it. He's here to support If you want to slow your opponent down, you cut their wind off. Yeah, he's got the big, he's with the back mount. Absolutely, he's on the back. And the old guy's fading. What do you mean, old guy? How old do you think Eddie Valentine is? He's not as young as J.C. Wessler. He's deceptively younger than he appears to be. I mean, he started at a very, very young age. Him and his tag team partner, John Domber. What is Mark Angel doing out here with a beer? Did he just steal that from one of the fans? The match going on. If the hand goes down for the third time, which it did not, this thing was almost over. Another back elbow. Eddie Valentine's looking for a way to fight out of the side headlock here by J.C. Westward. Valentine's out one half of the World Tag Team Champion. Phelps obviously not in the line. Valentine cuts him off with a huge clothesline. Shot right to the forehead, grazing blow. Back elbow. 
That puts him down. JC Westwood is not looking too good at this point. And that was as roaring as roaring gets. Struck him right on the side of the neck. Valentine barely even moved. Right in the center of the ring. Wow. And a three count. Wow. That was almost a huge ace. That was almost a huge upset. It almost looks kind of strange without him having his regular tag team part. partner. John Dahmer by his side. Well, the, the, the second remember the Maniac has his own match later on tonight with Mark Haynes. Wait a minute, where's Westwood going? It looks like he's going up to the top. Yeah, Mark Angel has a singles match against John Dahmer. Good luck there, pal. Oh, look at this. That's the nick of time. That was time wow. with the press slam. Holy Moses! Oh. Right into the knee. Oh, oh. oh palm strike. This one's over. This match, boy, we just witnessed a tremendous match. That match was a show stealer. Was that palm strike from Eddie Valentine? I don't think Mark Angel too uh, anxious to jump inside the ring. Angel better save some of his energy. Later on, he's got John Dahmer. And also, later on, fans, for all the marble, the World Heavyweight Championship. That's gonna be out here in a few minutes. Hybrid. Ugh. I think I need to go up there. Blood spring for gonna be anywhere near. No, don't go anywhere. I gotta put up with all your guests out here, like TNE, Mark Angel, everybody else who has come out here and do commentary. Hey guys. That guy's suffering from transportation problems. What's the matter? He didn't, he didn't want to take a taxi? I wouldn't be surprised the same person that kidnapped his love had something to do with sabotaging that guy's car. No, you know what I think it was? Probably got a ride from the taxi, didn't pay the ride from the taxi, didn't pay.